Hello everyone and welcome back to another video for Destiny 2. Today we're talking about the Harispec seal one more time. The official test uh, triumph for Embargo Engine is now out. And in this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can complete... Thanks, Destiny. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can go through the Embaru Engine cunning test and be able to complete it 100% without failing at all. That is if Destiny decides to actually let me do anything. All right, so once we load into the Embaru Engine, it's going to work exactly how Altars of Summoning does, where you go up the big lift here and you get sucked up into the ceiling. The only difference is now you're going to be able to activate a Hive panel here and be able to go up another lift that takes you up into the Embaru Engine. Now keep in mind, the other tests that are available within the uh, Embaru engine are not actually available yet, and it's most likely another weekly basis type thing, but for the cunning test in particular, I'm just going to go through this pretty quickly on how you can complete it. It's honestly very simple and should not take much time at all. So once you make your way up, you're going to be greeted with another hive ritual thing. Just activate your little wand here, and two chests will spawn in front of you. So... The question is, which chest do you open? Well, you have to open the one with an X type of insignia. If you open the ones that look like a jellyfish, those ones actually kill you. So, let's move on over to the second stage here where we open up three chests. Well, actually, it tells us to open two. See this one? The jellyfish one? It's pointing to it. That's not the one we want. We want the X and the other X. So you open those two. Stage two is complete. Now on to the final stage. You're going to see a ton of different things activate throughout the entirety of this room. And I'm going to show you each of the locations as well as which ones you need to open. So let's start down on the bottom floor. The first one to mention is the one right in the dead center. You can see on the panel here that there's one on the opposite side and then a chest on the opposite side of that. That one is not the one you want to open because it has the jellyfish looking insignia. Again, all the spawns in this room are random, so I'm just kind of showing you the locations of where each one is. But don't ever open the jellyfish ones. Those ones do not work. So, this one, you want to look up, and it's pointing this way, towards this chest. This, again, is not the one we want. This one is pointing towards that chest right there. And this one is pointing towards that chest, which means that this is pointing towards the correct chest. This one right here is looking upwards, but there's a, an insignia pointing down towards the floor. This one is not the right chest. So now that we've detailed some of the other ones on the bottom, let's go up a stage and we can talk about some of the other ones. There's one down in here. This one is the correct chest, so we'll open that. And then we move over to here, and you'll see there's one in this little cathedral-looking area. For this one, you'd want to look straight up onto that platform up there. So let's go up here and take a look. It's pointing down. That is not the correct chest. All right, so now we'll move over here to the next one. And there's this one here. You want to move just a little bit further away so that you can see the insignia on that. And that is the correct chest. I will come back to that because that is the correct one, but I'm going to showcase a couple other chest locations so that this is easier for some of you to find the rest of them. So there's a chest right there. You want to come into here. It's uh, this little crystalline looking thing. Um, I think the best way to describe the location of this one is in your right kind of perspective is that little circular looking hedge. You just go on in here and look out and you'll see that this is again not the right chest because it's pointing towards there and then we have another chest right here with another insignia pointing towards it you've also got one more that is over here on the side of this little chandelier area there's another insignia and again that is not the right chest also there is another one similar to the one that was down on the bottom you can see that these are crossed this one's looking that way this one's looking that way again you're going to come across two different icons that show completely opposite of what they actually are. So if you come down here, you'll see this one is pointing towards that chest. That one is pointing towards that chest. Again, both of these are wrong. So I'm just going to go and we're going to activate that last and final chest. So that's basically all the locations for where you can find the chests. Just keep in mind that some are pointing at different ones. So it's all just very random 
which ones you have to do and it's just a matter of can you piece together where these things are and uh, which ones are not supposed to be activated. So let's come on over here and open the final chest and as you can see we're done. So we've conjured cunning, we've learned how to do this completely 100% finished and uh, as a matter of fact I want to mention here there is nothing for this seal or for this triumph page in general where you have to complete this perfectly. But if you don't want to keep dying nonstop and you want to actually understand this puzzle, this is the video for you guys. So I hope this helped. I hope this was enjoyable. And I'll see you next week for the next Embargo Engine test.